What's going on my turkeys? How's it going? It's cynical here. Today we're going to be doing something a little bit different. Uh, I, I know I've been uh, quite inactive on Twitter, probably for about two days. And on top of that, yesterday I didn't upload. Uh, guys, the fourth fucking time I got sick. Uh, so as of right now, I'm a little bit sick, but kind of like through it. Uh, I got sick last week, as you guys should probably know. Uh, I went away to my mom's to cover E3 just because of the fact that the internet is juicy over there. And uh, yeah, anyway, while I was way over there, I ended up getting sick. And I swear, like, I've made probably multiple <laughs> videos this year, as well as like tweets and stuff, saying that I'm sick. You guys are probably fucking over it by this point, and so am I. I don't even understand why I get sick so often. I would say it's mostly because we don't eat good food. Yeah, <laughs> definitely. But no, we need we need to work on that. It's just like when it comes down to going to the grocery store, what what am I gonna buy? A three dollar like, I don't know, heat up a macaroni and cheese for four minutes, or a fucking three dollar stick of broccoli? I mean, your boy's gonna go for that macaroni and cheese. Oh right? my god, I've just been on you the whole time. I haven't been like. You haven't been getting that scenic shot? No, it's just... Because there's so much to look at. Look at all the pretty scenery. we got dead trees going on with like no leaves. we got rubbish. It's nice. It's a nice neighborhood. Yes. we got a nice neighborhood going on here. Like I was saying before was, uh, I woke up about like 30 minutes ago feeling like a skeleton that's just recently left the crypt. Uh, but I'm dropping Kayla off. This is what I usually do. This is like the uh, morning rounds when I'm, I'm actually saying, yes, Kayla, I will drop you Yeah, morning. when you agree to it. <laughs> um... But I thought I'd do like a little bit of an update vloggy sort of thing today mainly because of the fact that uh, it's been a while since I've sort of just been able to sit down and talk to you guys uh, sort of about like how the channel's going, think how things are pretty much going with me as well. I thought today we'd also check out the P.O. Box uh, too. That's going to be some interesting stuff as well. Alright, see ya. Yeah. Have a good day. Alright, so just dropped Kayla off. The number one good thing about uh, dropping your girlfriend off or just pretty much getting her out of your car is, uh, is the fact that you can pretty much play any song you want. So we're gonna put some good stuff on. I mean, I know Kingdom Hearts 2.8 has been out for like quite some time now, but that shit is never gonna get old. I mean, remixing something that is majestic is a pretty majestic risk, but if done right, amazing stuff. This is the way to start your day, ladies and gentlemen. Nothing beats daily for love. You guys are probably thinking, Cynical, what the fuck? Do you actually drive to the Kingdom Hearts soundtrack? You know, to answer that question, yes. I do. Do you have a problem? Shit. Uh, here we go, here we go, this is it. Alright, so yeah guys, what's going on? It's Cynical, and uh, I feel like I can actually talk to you guys sort of properly now. So, like I was saying before, uh, I apologize for being so inactive and stuff on Twitter over the past uh, sort of couple of days. Uh, even when I am sick, usually I am a little bit more active on Twitter, and I generally let you guys know what's kind of going on. Uh, I also didn't upload a video yesterday, and like I was saying, the main reason being is because I recently got sick once again, and it's absolutely frustrating me that this is the fourth goddamn time this year, dude. I'm a person who personally hates getting sick, and for some reason, in the moment where I'm worried, about getting sick the most, it generally always happens. Last weekend when the new Kingdom Hearts 3 trailer came out, I was absolutely just sketching out about getting sick, and then, God help me, three days later, I actually end up getting sick. So yeah, I ended up getting sick uh, midway through staying with my parents, which absolutely sucked. Although what I am grateful for is the fact that I actually didn't get sick during the time that the uh, new trailer came out. I honestly cannot imagine doing something like an analysis video feeling like absolute shite. So in terms of that, the timing was all right, but still to the fact, like, like four times this year, dude, it's getting ridiculous. So I think we're gonna start like stocking up on vitamins or something and start buying those broccolis. I think that's pretty important. To be real with you guys, I've been thinking about my diet a lot and ever since I've left home, I I've kind of come to this realization where it's like, 
You know, your parents used to force feed you vegetables, right? And I like eating vegetables every so often. In fact, even when I go to my parents, I pretty much treat them as a delicacy, which is pretty weird considering that, like, when you're a kid, you, you, you chuck that shit halfway across the room, dude. You don't want anything to do with that. Nowadays, it's like, holy shit, veggies, yes, give them to me. Get, ma make me feel good. So yeah, I think we're gonna start adding, like, a decent list of, like, vegetables to the, uh, to the grocery list every single time we go in to buy groceries because I think it's becoming a bit of a necessity to eat healthy. There's nothing better than actually feeling good when you wake up in the morning feeling you know like full of energy And that's exactly what vegetables do and same with fruit and stuff I'm not here trying to be a nutrition channel not at all, but for my own sake and my own benefit I think it's high time but yeah, sorry about being kind of you know like inactive and stuff I thought I'd just kind of disconnect uh, for the past two days. I literally couldn't even get out of bed the moment I got home from my parents house I went straight to bed pretty much and uh, just sort of rested it off for like the past two days uh, it, it took me about two days to get my sit up back all set up because obviously I took it over to my parents for E3. However though, I'm feeling absolutely like fantastic today. I feel like I can do a foxtrot on the street. Now I know you guys are probably thinking, well if you are feeling like you can't do a foxtrot on the street, why don't you go to the street and do a foxtrot? I mean, yeah, I, I could do that. I mean, I really could. That would be a good gag, right? That'd be good meme. That'd be good joke material for the vlog itself. But uh, that driveway is telling me otherwise. Holy shit, that is some really bright stuff. The driveway is literally telling me otherwise. Look how long that shit is. Wait, what do you mean I'm lazy? I just hope this is the last time I get sick for quite some time because obviously next month is a pretty damn important month with of course everything to do with Kingdom Hearts 3 sort of popping up at D23. Exciting times we're living in as of right now. You know, I've been thinking about that a lot lately, the fact that we've only just received Kingdom Hearts 3 trailer and then at the end of that trailer it's saying, hey guys, you're in for another one next month. I mean, we've literally never received anything like that. Was someone at Square Enix on drugs when planning this shit? Whoever it was, thank you. You're doing God's work. How though, guys, like I was saying before, uh, I think what I'm gonna do now is I'm going to actually go and check the P.O. box. Not really too sure in terms of like what I should probably expect, whether or not there's actually going to be anything there or not. I started the P.O. box up like two weeks ago and I don't expect people to, you know, uh, select the express shipping option. Like literally, shipping these days is, is pricey stuff, dude. You know that time where HMK stole my beanie? <laughs> you re re remember that? Well, he was trying to sort out a whole way of like getting it back to me. He set up this like little box with including the beanie and a few other things as well. And that was gonna cost like something like 200 US to ship. So if I put in like 200 right here, it comes out at a crazy price, 276 for shipping. Come on, dude. But yeah, shipping can be like super, super expensive. So shout out to the people who are actually sending me stuff. It means a lot to me, just the thought alone of you guys actually just spending money on shipping alone is a crazy thought, so thank you guys. All right, so just use the PO box system for like the first time in my life, and it took me literally like, I don't know, 10 minutes. I was crouching on the ground because my box is like right on the ground for like 10 minutes trying to figure out how the fuck this key right here, I don't know if it's gonna focus, but it, it's a really strange looking key. It's, it ain't no keyblade, son. But yeah, really weird key. Trying to figure out how this unlocks the small box thing was like figuring out the fucking Da Vinci code. But we got there in the end, and to my surprise, uh, we actually have a few things here, which is really, really awesome. So guys, thank you so much. It warms my heart to see this sort of stuff once again. Uh, it, it used to excite me so much back in the day seeing all of these like cool letters and parcels that you guys would send me. So to see it again, Warms a brother's heart, man. I mean, I'll let you guys know right now, this sort of stuff is better than Christmas. So you guys are awesome. Thank you. Alright, so just came home, posted on Twitter for the first time in like, I don't know, two days or something. Just basically letting you guys know that this is what's going on, this is why I haven't been active. And then straight away, Niles just like, yeah, dude, this is what you need to get. Jesus Christ, you get sick like all the time. That instantly reminded me... I need to become like Bubble Boy. This is the sort of shit I need. Loki, the great movie. Uh, it's one of those like old classic movies. Sort of cheesy, but uh, it it's quality content. Good thing is though, ever since I've been sick, which I think I've taken about like maybe four days off because the past three videos that have been uploaded to the channel have just been schedules. Uh, I've pretty much been indulging my time in uh, Kingdom Hearts 2. Uh, one thing I say to myself is like within 1.5 and 2.5 for PlayStation 4, as soon as it comes out, I'm actually going to sit down and try to plat all of the games within it. So I'm sort of starting with Kingdom Hearts 2. I was originally going to do uh, Rechain of Memories just because of the fact that I was really getting into Rechain. 
But then like as I was slowly trying to work towards the platinum, I don't know, my attention span just got kind of like thin with the game. So pretty much I'm focusing on Kingdom Hearts 2 uh, at the moment just because it is like the funnest game out of the bunch. I'm currently 77% through my boys and I used to never ever actually like give a single turkey gizzard about trophies um, for PlayStation. But my roommate Nick, he is like super into getting like platinums and stuff so I guess you could say like through him he's kind of got me involved in the trophy system. Um, as of right now, what I'm currently trying to do is I'm trying to finish Jiminy's journal but I'm having to go through this tedious, annoying task of completing the list within the, uh, within synthesis, which is really annoying. It's like the last thing I need to do for the, uh, synthesis section of Jiminy's journal, and then I'm actually done with Jiminy's journal. I, I'll be at 100%, which is actually really, really cool. So that's the last thing I have to do, and then the only other thing I have to do after that to get the platinum is play the game on critical so finish the game on critical and then also do another playthrough uh, without dying i actually didn't even know that was a trophy until like halfway through this playthrough which is only standard and i had already died by that point um <laughs> so rip and then i also need to do the gummy ship missions so that's the other thing but aside from that it's all pretty simple stuff it's just the synthesis stuff is really tedious collecting like 20 30 25 of like the shard stones and gems kill me they'll literally kill me but anyway guys that is pretty much all for today i just wanted to get this small little vlog out to keep you guys up to date and to keep you guys in the loop with what's going on with me going to try and sort out something to like prevent getting sick as best I can. It's ridiculous. It's currently winter in our country right now, so I guess it's only bound for me to get sick, but I've already been sick previous to this three times already. You get tired of it after a while. So yeah, I'm gonna try my best to like not get sick for the rest of the year. That'd be super cool. Content will continue as normal tomorrow, guys, so just expect the normal stuff. Uh, there's still quite a lot to talk about with Kingdom Hearts 3 as of right now, and on top of that, I also want to do some E3 stuff, just kind of going over the games that I liked and sort of stuff that I didn't really like so much. E3 this year is pretty controversial, honestly. I think this is probably one of the worst E3s we've had, but still within saying that, there was some pretty damn good reveals, good trailers and stuff there. But looking at the sort of biggest spectrum, yeah, probably one of the worst E3s we've had. I'm going to talk about that later on this week. Other guys, hope you're having a fantastic day, and until next time, I'll catch you guys later. Peace!